What is going on, Rebels and Rebelettes? Welcome back to probably the finale of our best team for Kanto Let's Play. I'm not sure whether or not that's going to be the finale or not, but I'm going to let you guys decide that. But anyways, we're back, and um, we got two more members of the Elite Four to face. I don't actually know what you know. One more, because we beat Agatha, huh? So we have one more, and then we have the champion. So um, I'm honestly just going to say, team recap, nothing really changed. I mean, we've been in the, we've been in the Elite Four. Uh, but, uh... This is going to be probably the final one. I got everything. Everyone's ready to go. Um, I know Blue's like main Pokemon is level 63, so kind of nervous about that. But other than that, I think we'll be okay. I know for sure that Lance is Pokemon. This thing's level 53. I thought this thing was level 58 for some reason. I guess it's not. I was just reading the levels wrong. I guess here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. I love this music too, by the way. I love Lance's chambers. They're so cool looking. Like, the dragon fangs and stuff. Man, Kanto is... Kanto's pretty epic. And this is actually... This is actually my favorite champion. Not Elite Four member, but champion. In, uh, in Gold and Silver and Crystal. You... You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna see me have so much fun in silver and gold because gold and silver were like the first Pokemon games I ever played in. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I always get, an, I always get like a nostalgia trip whenever I play those games. But anyways, let's get going. Ah, I've heard about you, Mystic. I love the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Until Generation 6, where we got the Fairy type. I'm sorry, Lance. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your leak challenge ends with me, Mystic. I mean, you could be right. I mean, I don't know. Lance is, uh... Lance is pretty difficult. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about that one. Lance is definitely a trainer that I will not mess with on a regular basis, but I mean, we got Thunderbolt, we got Ice Beam on Starmie I'm pretty confident we can win, just just go for it, I guess I don't think that's gonna one-hit KO I mean, it might okay, it did, okay okay, okay, yeah it's one down, F five to go or four to go four to go, okay guess let's go for Ice Beam Ah, close. Close, 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 close. Ah, oh, man. Mm. I don't like that. Um, I'm actually gonna go for the full heal. I guess I think I think you might go for a healing item. Nice prediction on my end. Okay. Gonna go for one more ice beam. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to spam this thing, honestly. Against Dragonite, though, it shouldn't be as bad because Dragonite is at least a quad. It is quad weak to, uh... Quad weak to ice-step attacks. Um, I'm gonna go for one more full heal. That's totally fine, dude. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, three more to go now. I think next they'll probably send out Gyarados, or no, not Gyarados, uh, Aerodactyl? No, another Dragonair, wow. I forgot that in this game he had more Dragonairs than he did Dragonites, and these Dragonairs are actually, like, legal, compared to, like, his, like, Dragonites and, like, Gold and Silver, everything's, like, broken. <laughs> Dragon Rage, well, that's gonna do 40 damage, uh, uh, that's, that's, like, a big deal, and it's, 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 like, not a big deal. I think he actually has, I don't, I don't know how many full restores he has, but in the originals, I remember his Dragonites being level like 49, 50, and this guy would like, he, he, he was breaking the game. This time it's quad affected the Dragonite, so it's probably going to do a lot more damage. Really? Wow. I know, I know that there's also like a, a level cap and stuff, but still. Will that kill me? Yes, it did. Wow, damn it. <clears throat> I 
I have a feeling he's probably going to use the, uh... No, I, he's using a citrus. Interesting. I don't know for sure he has to recharge. Um, I'm pretty sure that Thunderbolt should be able to take it out from this range. Maybe. Okay, it did. Cool. Yeah, Stormy is, uh, is kind of frail. So be careful of that. Make sure that Stormy is at a high HP. Don't do what I did. I don't know if that's going to... I doubt it's going to kill him one shot. Nah. Oh, God. That's kind of irritating, but... We got quick attack! <laughs> I legit was going to use quick attack on him. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. I, I literally just did. Now, if we go for Thunderbolt... Oh, uh, no. Uh, fudge. Really? Oh, God. God, Humongous. It's on you, dude. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I hardly did anything. Oh my god. I'll get him on recharge when he uses Hyper Beam, basically. I think that'll be a good time for me to use it. Because, I mean, Humongous is just going to sit here and just eat up hits for a little while. But at the same time, I don't want to go out to stir me when he's like about to use Hyper Beam. <coughs> <coughs> Our Pokemon are just naturally underleveled. I look like I should have done like a little bit more grinding. Maybe. I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, even if he does, I can just go for a healing item. If he goes for the Hyper Beam, I'll be at full HP. I should be able to take at least one. Scary face. Okay, well, that's fine. But it doesn't really bother me as much. Let me go for that Surf now, and that should be able to take it out. <clears throat> that should kill, I think. It should. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> now, what is his last mana? Or, or, or is that all of them? I can't remember if that was all No, that was all of them. Okay. A little shaky, but hey, you know what? We got it. I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokemon master. <clears throat> I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Mystic. You're now the Pokemon League Champion. Or, you would have been. But you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is... Axel! He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League Champion. Oh lord, dude. Holy cow. I never would have guessed. I've only been saying it for like the whole entire episode. <coughs> I don't know why I've been coughing a lot more lately. I guess it's just because it's like really cold outside and stuff. Despite it being like Southern California, it actually gets like relatively cold out. Like yesterday, like in like the noon, I think it was like 50 degrees outside. It's crazy like, like how cold it can actually get sometimes. So, our rival, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with um, with Usain Jolt. I think St. Jolt's going to be a good lead. Okay, y'all ready? Let's do this. <clears throat> hey, Mystic. I was looking forward to seeing you, Mystic. My rival should be strong and keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I liked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. <clears throat> Mystic, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! Great esteem right here, dude. Uh, one of my favorite themes in Pokemon. The champion theme of Kanto. Awesome theme. I'm not gonna lie. May not be Gen 2, but I get... I get... 
those I'm getting those goosebumps right now you guys like I'm not even joking like the goosebumps are hitting me right now they're hitting me pretty hard Wow not bad haha <laughs> aerial ace oh no what if roll I do full restore pfft, whatever dude shockwave will come in here and finish you off I mean, I mean relatively easy too Gonna withdraw, okay. Nice play. Wow. Um That should work right here. I think Venus was a good lead is a good um That'll do neutral, but with a Giga Drain I should be able to gain all that HP back. Yeah. I should gain all that HP back. The majority of it, anyways. It should be an Oko. Yeah, easily. I'm getting all that HP back. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> now, this is actually the first time uh, if Venusaur has been in Battle of Thunder. Um, eh. You guys don't need Thunder. That's a good move, but it's got really, really bad accuracy. <clears throat> I mean, I already got Thunderbolt. We're already at the champion battle. What's, <laughs> what's the point? I feel like maybe I should have grinded at least up to like level 54 or 55. I recommend that I I recommend that you guys at least grind up to like 53. I think I think 53 is a pretty good level to grind up to. And he's got Charizard too at like level 63. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be interesting. We should do relatively around half, I'd I'd say. Okay, yeah. Look at Snorlax just eating those psychics though. Snorlax is just like taking those hits like a champion. Wow. Snorlax is probably like one of like the best members we've had this whole entire series. Next to Starmie, of course, because Starmie is just like... Starmie is incredibly amazing. Now, I'm actually gonna let Toby get like a freaking taste of this. Toby's literally had no action either. I mean, she, yeah, I think Toby had, she had action against the fighting type. Against uh, Bruno, I think. Toby did pretty good, I think. I think it was, no, it was actually just Stormy using Psychic. So Stormy's definitely like the MVP of like this game. I might even get a fast forward. This is a, uh, this is the champion battle. This is like some actual like full time thinking here. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> that should kill. We are taking his team one step at a time, guys. Pidgeot. Back out the Jolteon again. This should kill from here. Definitely. I don't I mean, I don't know. I guess you could grind up lower than you than you could, I guess. Personally, I would just go like maybe like two, two or three levels. Hey, his a Gyarados? What? No way. Okay. Well, you're, you're dead, dude. <laughs> oh no, intimidate. Whatever. Well, well, I do. I'm a special attacker. Here, dude. Rest in peace. I think that killed Lance's Gyarados in one shot. I'm not sure if it'll kill his. It should. I mean, it's a 95 quad. It's a 95 base power attack, and Gyarados is quad weak. And Jolteon, I think. Does Jolteon have a rash nature? Can't remember Charizard. Or no, that's Stormy. Stormy has a rash nature. Speaking of Stormy, Stormy's about to take it home. <clears throat> His last Pokemon, guys. Oh, damn. Wow. Look at that. Fire Blast. That's gonna do some... Uh, that should actually be a pretty good chunk. That didn't do too bad of damage. Citrus Berry. Ooh. Doesn't really matter now, dude. Bye bye. We uh, <coughs> we did it. We uh, we beat the game, guys. Holy crap! No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. 
Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes. My Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Mystic? So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the most Pokemon... Wait, what? You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on your Pokedex. Mystic, you have come of age. Axel, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beat in the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Axel, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Mystic, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Mystic, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, Mystic. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Mystic, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Mystic. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. I love this music. Oh my god. Usain Jolt the Jolteon. Kiwanga Swat the Snorlax. Polaris the Sturmy. George the Nido King. Toby. Better keep a Toby here. The Dodrio and Iris the Venusaur. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the best team for Kanto. We did it. The team works. <clears throat> it worked very, very well, actually. Actually, did way better than I expected it to. Well, guys, um. That was the best team for Kanto. I just want to watch this really, really cool ending, because I love Leaf Green's ending. I have not played Leaf Green forever. Hold on a second. He's like... He looks back. There he goes. Pokemon Leaf Green version staff. <clears throat> now I get to do Asian voices. Cool. Jinji Masuda. Uh, I won't. I won't make fun of him. Kensuke. Okay, no, I won't do that. The next. Once I start getting into like unfamiliar names. I know all these guys too. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Satoshi. No, yeah. Sasuke Tamada, Hezaki Sogabi, Akito Mori, Kanako Iho, Hiroki Fuchino. Hinobo Yoshita, Yahoo! <laughs> okay, you guys. So, this is the. Ew, Charizard. I'm kidding. Charizard's. I, I, I gotta give Charizard props, because Charizard's a really good Pokemon, but. I wanna ask you guys something kind of important. So, I got the best team for Johto done, right? Like, the graphics, I mean, I mean, n not the game, but I got the graphics done for the series. So, I'm just gonna, like, what's this, like, vote? Do you guys want me to do a post game for Leaf, do you, do you guys want me to do a post game for Leaf Green? Or do you guys want me, or do you guys want me to start Johto, like, right now? Like, uh, that's, so, post game, yes, and then the answer will be no, start Johto right away. Personally, for me, I actually want to do... The post game for Fire Red and Leaf Green because I miss it, you know. I best start in Kanto right there, guys. But yeah, I I really really do miss doing the uh, the post game in this game, and you guys get to hear some really really nice. Uh, but w we would have to capture sixty Pokemon, huh? Oh, I can do that. I can do that off screen. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. But, I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, doing the best team for Johto right away, but I kind of just want to. I want to enjoy Kanto a little bit longer. I'm not ready to start Johto, so I'm going to let you guys vote on whether or not you guys want me to do Johto right away, or if you guys want to enjoy Leaf Green a little bit longer, just do the post game. Because, I mean, you get to hear some really, really cool Johto music in the uh, Four Island, Five Island stuff, and it's it's really, really, like, nostalgic, you know, for everybody here. So I'm going to let you guys vote. Either we do Best Team for Kanto a little bit longer, or we start Best Team for Johto right away. I'll let you guys vote. I'll have a, I'll have a poll on the side on the uh, the i card for you guys to vote. <clears throat>
But for now, Satoru Iwata, rest in peace. I can't, believe, I can't believe he died in 2015. It's been so long. It's been two years now, pretty much. Close to two years. Wow. You know, I'm just gonna just sit here and just let the let the credits play. That was the best thing for Kanto, guys. And it's your guys' call whether or not we continue. So, I'm gonna say, I guess I'll just, I'll get prepared for like both. See you guys for the best team for Johto, or I will see you guys next time for our best team for Kanto. Take it easy, guys.